welcome parents and students to Lockport Township High School's ninth grade registration process. The first thing we need to do is locate Infinite Campus. You should have a website email to you, or you can also find Infinite Campus on our school website. Once you find it, you can open it up and the first thing we're going to do is click on Campus Student. That'll direct you to a page where you are going to log in. You're going to need your student ID number, which was sent to you in a packet, and your birthday. Your username is your full student ID, nine digits long, that will start with 205. Your password is going to be your first initial of your first name, your first initial of your last name, and your birthday. So for example, if you were born on January 1st, 2007, your birthday password will be 010107. Now that you've logged in, the system is going to ask you for a new password. The first thing you do is type in your old password, then your new password, and then verify your new password. After you save that, the system is going to ask you for a secure email that you have access to. So you're going to type that in twice and then enter your new password that you just made. Now that you've logged into Infinite Campus, you're going to choose your courses for your freshman year. The first thing we're going to do is scroll to the bottom and click More. Then we're going to go to the middle of the page and click Course Registration. The next step will be to click 2122 Central Campus. This will bring you to our preloaded courses for your core classes. Your Biology, your Math, your English, your Homeroom Lunch, and your PE are have already been preloaded for you. If you decided that you would like to take ROTC in place of PE, then you can go down to the bottom and click Add Courses. ROTC is listed here twice. The first ROTC is for the first semester. The second ROTC is for the second semester. Please click on ROTC, scroll down to the bottom, and add this as an alternative. Then go back and click on the second semester ROTC and add that as an alternative as well. You can then go back and see your schedule. you notice that it's been placed as an alternative. Do not worry about deleting the PE in your schedule. Your counselor will go back and do that for you at a later time. Your next choice will be one of three specific courses to fulfill your Digital Pathways requirement. They are Traditional Digital Pathways, AP Computer Science, or Project Lead the Way Introduction to Engineering and Design. To add one of these courses, we are going to click the Add Course button and this will bring you to the list of courses that are offered to all freshmen. To find the course, we could either scroll down or type in the beginning of the name of the course. Once you have found Digital Pathways, you can either click on the plus button to add it to your course requests or click on Digital Pathways to find more information about that class. Digital Pathways is a full year class, so you need to add both semesters. You can identify the semester by the one in the number, the course request number. This description box will also tell you the credits the course is worth, the grade placement, the prerequisite if there is one, and a brief description of the course. We are now going to add the class to our course request by clicking the button, and then we're going to go back and add the second semester. If you notice the set, the two here, which means this will be the second part of Digital Pathways. Again, you could also go back and search for AP Computer Science, or probably going scrolling down a little bit farther to find your Project Lead the Way Introduction to Engineering and Design. Please enter in both semesters of one of these three courses to fill your Digital Pathways requirement. Your next step is to choose your electives. Each student 
can choose two credits worth of electives. However, we are asking students to choose alternates in case a class does not run or there is a conflict in the schedule. Some elective courses are one semester long and others are two semesters or a full year course. This is indicated on the elective option sheet. Please keep in mind the length of the course while choosing your classes. If the course is a full credit, then both semesters need to be added just like we did for the Digital Pathways course. Other courses are half credit. These courses should only be entered once. If you choose a half credit course, you must choose another half credit course to complete the year. Some electives may have already been entered for you. You may already have reading, math enrichment, or learning strategies in your schedule. These are required classes for some students. They will be indicated on your worksheet and will reduce the number of electives that you will be able to choose. Now it's time to enter in your electives. Remembering that freshmen have two credits worth of electives to choose in their schedule. To enter our first credit, we're gonna go down and click on add course. The first course that we may want to put in is a foreign language. So we could either scroll down and find a foreign language or type in the foreign language. So it pops up. So I have French. French is a full credit class, so that means we need to put both sections in. So we can click on right here and remembering that this number one here refers to the first semester. So we can go ahead and add that request. And we're going to go back and add the second semester. Again, I can just click the plus here and add request. It is now in our schedule. So now we have one credit worth of electives in our schedule. Now let's go choose our second credit. So we're going to go back and choose add course and scroll down to the classes that we want to take. A class like business and technology concepts is a half credit class but it is listed in the system twice because you could take that class either first or second semester. So in this case, we're gonna take it the first semester. So I'm gonna click on the class, remembering that that one stands for the first semester and we are gonna add it to our schedule. So now knowing that that is a half credit class, we have to go back and choose another half credit class to go along with it. We do not want to choose business and technology concepts because we already have that class. So we can scroll down and find another computer class like business computer concepts and applications or a culinary arts class because it does not have to be in the same um, department. So we have culinary arts baking listed again here twice. And since we already have business concepts, the first semester, we're going to go ahead and add culinary arts baking for the second semester. So we go ahead and add that request. Now, if you notice, we are 100% com complete. That means we have a full credit, full uh, list of classes. But we don't want to stop there because we want to add some alternatives. I like to tell students to choose at least two credits worth of alternative classes just in case we need to go back and choose a class because they're of a schedule conflict. So we can go back down and maybe let's choose child development. Now child development is a full year class. So we're gonna go ahead and we can click on that. And remember that as a full year class, we have to add both semesters. So this is the first semester. So we're gonna click and add, add, is, add, add it as an alternative. Now we're going to go back and do the same thing for the second semester, add it all as an alternative. So now that's one credit worth of classes. Now we can go back and choose another uh, credit worth of classes. So let's do digital photography. So we have digital photography, we're going to click on that, add that one as an alternative. Now remember that's the first semester worth of class, so now we have to go back and find another half credit class for the second semester. So we can go back down here and find intro to drawing and design 
And we're not going to put it in as the first semester. We're going to put it in as the second semester. So we can go ahead here and remember that too reminds us that it is the second semester. So we'll go ahead and add the alternate and then go back. Now let's say we go through here and we change our mind and we do not want to take intro to drawing and design. Well, that's fine. We can just go back here and click this X and it'll take it out for us. And then we can go back and maybe we wanted to put an intro to draw into painting and 3D design. And we can click on that and add that as an alternative. Thank you for taking the time to watch the registration video and completing the process. If you need further assistance or have questions, please call the Central Guidance Office at 815-588-8250. Thank you and go Porters!